Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since you've heard my voice. My last few videos uh, have been just music. Um, and I wanted to talk in this one because I wanted to talk about my process behind this digital painting that I did. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I wanted to share uh, kind of step by step how I did it. Now this isn't really too in-depth of a tutorial, but hopefully it will be a little bit useful. Um, this is going to be just a grayscale painting, by the way. I'm not really adding any color to it except for, you know, some pops of red at the very end. So if you're looking for, like, a more in-depth colored digital painting tutorial, this video is probably not going to be that helpful. But anyway, so I started off with a sketch, as you can see. Um, it can be rough if you want, it doesn't have to be a totally clean, like, finished line art kind of thing. It's really just a baseline because you're going to be painting both on top of these lines and beneath them. Then I blocked out the colors. I had three kind of different main values I was using. The first one was the background, I wanted it to be dark. Then the character itself, I wanted it to be a bit lighter, still kind of a mid-tone I'd say. And then my pop of color is the red and the scarf and the blood. After I mapped out these different uh, sections of color, I just started rendering the character. I started by rendering the skin first because I found that skin is kind of easy to uh, to color or I guess render. <laughs> I'm using that word a lot. It's easy to render when it comes to digital painting because, you know, skin is kind of smooth. There isn't really any textures you have to watch out for and it's more focused on lighting, which is very important, um, especially in grayscale paintings because you don't have color to differentiate the objects from each other. So you really have to depend on the different values of gray that you're going to be using. You gotta make sure there's good enough contrast between different objects or different parts of the character. Um, and this is not an in-depth tutorial by any means. I'm really going very fast, but I just basically rendered the rest of it, making sure not to let the grays be too close to each other in value meaning sometimes I use very light gray, sometimes I use very dark gray, then it looks best when those contrasting grays are right next to each other or in close proximity. Um, I did spend quite a lot of time on this one, so there's a good amount of details in how everything's rendered. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, hopefully this was not a complete waste of a tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you! <laughs>